CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 7 Chapter 7 Congruence of Triangles Page 138 7.6 Criteria for Congruence of Triangles we make use of triangular structures and patterns frequently in day-to-day -day life. So, it is rewarding to find out when two triangular shapes will be congruent. If you have two triangles drawn in your notebook and want to verify if they are congruent, you cannot every time cut out one of them and use method of superposition. Instead, if we can judge congruency in terms of appropriate measures, it would be quite useful. Let us try to do this. A game Appu and Tipu play a game. Appu has drawn a triangle ABC, figure 7.8, and has noted the length of each of its sides and measure of each of its angles. Tipu has not seen it. Appu challenges Tipu if he can draw a copy of his triangle ABC based on bits of information that Appu would give. Tipu attempts to draw a triangle congruent to triangle ABC using the information provided by Appu. The game starts. Carefully observe their conversation and their games. Figure 7.8 shows us the triangle drawn by Appu. AB is equal to 5 centimeters, BC is equal to 5.5 centimeters, AC is equal to 3.4 centimeters, and angle A is equal to 79 degrees, angle B is equal to 36 degrees, angle C is equal to 65 degrees. SSS game Appu One side of triangle ABC is 5.5 centimeters. Tipu. With this information, I can draw any number of triangles. Figure 7.9. But they need not be copies of triangle ABC. The triangle I draw may be obtuse angled, or right angled, or acute angled. For example, here are a few. We have three different triangles shown in figure 7.9, namely, obtuse angled, right angled and acute angled triangle, with one of the sides measuring 5.5 centimeters. I have used some arbitrary lengths for other sides. This gives me many triangles with length of base 5.5 centimeters. So, giving only one side length will not help me to produce a copy of triangle ABC. Appu. Okay, I will give you the length of one more side. Take two sides of triangle ABC to be of lengths 5.5 centimeters and 3.4 centimeters. Tipu. Even this will not be sufficient for the purpose. I can draw several triangles, figure 7.10, with the given information which may not be copies of triangle ABC. Here are a few to support my argument. We have three different triangles shown in figure 
in which the measurements of the sides are 5.5 cm and 3.4 cm respectively. One cannot draw an exact copy of your triangle if only the lengths of two sides are given. Page 139 Appu All right, let me give the lengths of all the three sides. In triangle ABC, I have AB is equal to 5 centimeters, BC is equal to 5.5 centimeters, and AC is equal to 3.4 centimeters. Tipu, I think it should be possible. Let me try now. First, I draw a rough figure so that I can remember the lengths easily. I draw line segment BC with length 5.5 cm. With B as center, I draw an arc of radius 5 cm. The point A has to be somewhere on this arc. With C as center, I draw an arc of radius 3.4 cm. The point A has to be on this arc also. So, A lies on both the arcs drawn. This means, A is the point of intersection of the arcs. I know now the positions of points A, B and C. Aha! I can join them and get triangle A, B, C. Figure 7.11 Here, a triangle ABC is given in which AB is equal to 5 cm, BC is equal to 5.5 cm and AC is equal to 3.4 cm. Appu Excellent! So, to draw a copy of a given triangle ABC, that is, to draw a triangle congruent to triangle ABC, we need the lengths of three sides. Shall we call this condition as side, side, side criterion? Tipu, why not we call it as S, S, S criterion, to be short? S, S, S congruence criterion. If, under a given correspondence, the three sides of one triangle are equal to the three corresponding sides of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Example 2. In triangles ABC and PQR, AB is equal to 3.5 cm. BC is equal to 7.1 cm, AC is equal to 5 cm, PQ is equal to 7.1 cm, QR is equal to 5 cm and PR is equal to 3.5 cm. Examine whether the two triangles are congruent or not. If yes, Write the congruence relation in symbolic form. Figure 7.12 Here two triangles ABC and PQR are given. Solution Here AB is equal to PR which is equal to 3.5 cm. BC is equal to PQ which is equal to 7.1 cm and AC is equal to QR which is equal to 5 cm. This shows that the three sides of one triangle are equal to the three sides of the other triangle. So, by SSS congruence rule, the two triangles are congruent. From the above three equality relations, 
it can be easily seen that A corresponds to R, B corresponds to P and C corresponds to Q. So, we have triangle ABC is congruent to triangle RPQ. Important note, the order of the letters in the names of congruent triangles displays the corresponding relationships. Thus, when you write triangle ABC is congruent to triangle RPQ, you would know that A lies on R, B on P, C on Q. Line segment AB along line segment RP, line segment BC along line segment PQ, and line segment AC along line segment RQ. Page 140 Example 3. In figure 7.13, AD is equal to CD and AB is equal to CB. 1. State the three pairs of equal parts in triangle ABD and triangle CBD. 2. Is triangle ABD congruent to triangle CBD? Why or why not? 3. Does BD bisect angle ABC? Give reasons. Figure 7.13 In this figure, triangle ABC and triangle BCD are combined to form a kite-shaped figure. Solution 1. In triangle ABD and triangle CBD, the three pairs of equal parts are as given below. AB is equal to CB, given. AD is equal to CD, given. And BD is equal to BD, common in both. 2. From 1 above, triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CBD by SSS congruence rule. 3. Angle ABD is equal to angle CBD, corresponding parts of congruent triangles. So, BD bisects angle ABC. Try these. 1. In figure 7.14, lengths of the sides of the triangles are indicated. By applying the SSS congruence rule, state which pairs of triangles are congruent. In case of congruent triangles, write the result in symbolic form. Figure 7.14 1. Here, two triangles ABC and PQR are given. AB is equal to 1.5 cm. BC is equal to 2.5 cm, AC is equal to 2.2 cm and PQ is equal to 1.5 cm, QR is equal to 2.5 cm, PR is equal to 2.2 cm. 2. Here, two triangles DEF and LMN are given. DE is equal to 3.2 cm, EF is equal to 3 cm. DF is equal to 3.5 cm and LM is equal to 3 cm, MN is equal to 3.2 cm, LN is equal to 3.5 cm. 3. Here, two triangles ABC and PQR are given. AB is equal to 2 cm, BC is equal to 4 cm, AC is equal to 5 cm and PQ is equal to 4 cm, QR is equal to 2.5 cm, PR is equal to 5 cm. 4. Here, two triangles ABD and ADC are given. AB is equal to 3.5 cm, BD is equal to 2.5 cm, and AC is equal to 3.5 cm, CD is equal to 2.5 cm. 
AD is common for both the triangles. Page 141 2. In figure 7.15, AB is equal to AC and D is the midpoint of line segment BC. 1. State the three pairs of equal parts in triangle ADB and triangle ADC. 2. Is triangle ADB congruent to triangle ADC? Give reasons. 3. Is angle B equal to angle C? Why? Figure 7.15 Here, two triangles ABD and ACD are given in which AD is common for both the triangles. 3. In figure 7.16, AC is equal to BD and AD is equal to BC. Which of the following statements is meaningfully written? 1. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ABD. 2. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle BAD. Figure 7.16. Here, two triangles ABD and ACB are given in which AC is equal to BD and AD is equal to BC. Think, discuss and write. ABC is an isosceles triangle with AB equal to AC. Figure 7.17. Take a trace copy of triangle ABC and also name it as triangle ABC. 1. State the three pairs of equal parts in triangle ABC and triangle ACB. 2. Is triangle ABC congruent to triangle ACB? Why or why not? 3. Is angle B equal to angle C? Why or why not? Appu and Tipu now turn to playing the game with a slight modification. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Samya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India